So, a couple days ago, and about once a month, I've been making a video talking about the latest news on LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga, and why we still haven't heard much news at all, or really anything new about the game in ages. People are saying it might come out sometime in May, there have been potential release date leaks and other news, but none of these seem to be true. So today, I have a theory for why we are yet to hear more about the game. I think halfway through development, the developers made one drastic change to the game that required lots more time and focus to go into its development. And that's why we don't have the game. And no, it's not because they decided to add a Lego Darth Jar Jar. Seriously though, can we make this happen? No, not really, no. So there are only a few very select LEGO games to feature an element all LEGO games should have really had over the past 10 years. Online co-op. As far as I know, the only LEGO games to have online co-op are LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga on Xbox 360 only, and LEGO Harry Potter Years 1 to 4 on Xbox 360 and PS3. But apart from those, that's it. There are like how many LEGO games? Like 20 LEGO games in total. These two are the only two that have online co-op and only on these platforms. Ridiculous. Please correct me if I'm wrong about any of this as well, but it seems super strange that these would be the only games TT Games decided to update with online compatibility. The LEGO games work so well as co-op games and are built to only include split-screen co-op, and I honestly believe LEGO games are best experienced with a couch buddy, someone sitting next to you, playing alongside you, a second controller, a second mouse and keyboard, whatever you want. You actually get to interact more with the world, and with your partner rather than, you know, just with the AI on the screen. I see your point, sir. LEGO games are great for bonding until someone gets a little too trigger happy. And yes, that's usually me. Me this time in the air. Elevator. Ah. Uh, Sorry. Hey. <laughs> After you. And proceeds to stay. <laughs> you let your guard down. No lightsaber. Bye. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. <laughs> now, there are actually a few ways you can play LEGO games with online co-op, even though the games don't support it. You can use Steam's remote play feature, which basically streams the game to your partner, or you can use programs like Parsec, which basically does the same thing. And I've tried these before, however, they heavily rely on the host having a solid internet connection. And even with that, you can have issues with bad ping and experience frame drops. It works, but it's not necessarily seamless, you know? So where am I going with this? Enter LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. The developers originally said the game wouldn't support online co-op, but from what I know, this was announced before 2020 happened, and uh, we all know what happened in 2020. So like I said, I think a lot of people will agree, LEGO games are best experienced in co-op, with a buddy sitting by your side on the couch, but sitting next to your friend on the couch, unfortunately still isn't possible in lots of places around the world. So, considering the year we had in 2020, I think the developers might have taken a step back to reevaluate their build of the new LEGO Star Wars and potentially decided to include online co-op. So this new LEGO game could be experienced how LEGO games are supposed to be experienced with a co-op buddy. Now, like I said at the start, this is just my theory. This doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen, even though I'm sure lots of us would love this as an option. And I feel like lots of the developers, even if it might not be their decision, would be thinking along the same lines especially because most of the new LEGO Star Wars was built remotely. The developers moved out of their studio and into individual home offices in early to mid 2020. So at least the second half or the final stages of this game's development have been worked on online, remotely, communicating through Zoom or Skype or whatever. The fact is the devs would have realized the need for online co-op and I'm sure it's been brought up to them over and over again and with so many of them still working from home. It's just a question of whether or not this is a feasible option for such a massive game as the new LEGO Star Wars is promised to be. So, if my theory is true, then this is just one reason why I think the game was delayed. They needed the extra time to implement online co-op while still working on fine-tuning, bug testing, and finishing the Skywalker saga. Adding online features and connectivity to a game is never easy, and that's why games back in the 2000s were developed a lot faster than games nowadays, because back then it was 
was rare they included online features. Most games back then were either single player or couch co-op split screen experiences, which is where the Lego games have their roots. The first Lego game in this style, in the style of Lego games we know and love today, was Lego Star Wars video game, which introduced the world to the perfect blend of couch co-op buddy prequel experience -ing. In some ways, the LEGO games are still hugely influenced by older games because of their lack of online connectivity and online co-op. But I think it's time for that to change. The time is now, the world is ready for it, the world needs it. Now, I want to just draw your attention to a recent co-op game which I think is the perfect example of what needs to happen with the new LEGO Star Wars. It Takes Two. This is a new game from Joseph Farris, you know, that guy who gave this speech. Okay, can you swear here? Can, can you swear? swear? Okay. Flip the Oscars, you know? <laughs> Flip the Oscars! What the you! I'll tell you! He's famous for founding Haze Light Studios, a studio completely focused on developing co-op games. Before It Takes Two, they made A Way Out, released in 2018, and previously, Farrah's developed Brothers A Tale of Two Sons, which is another co-op only game. Now, like I said, these games are specifically made to be co-op only experiences, and that's why they're so amazing. They make you work with a partner to navigate and traverse the world and progress through the story, and you can't do it without the other person. The gameplay mechanics are built so that everything that you do requires the other person to be there. Now, I really love co-op games. Recently, I've been playing Unravel 2, which is another game published by EA. The Hazelight games are also published by EA. I also played Rayman Legends and a bunch of old LEGO games like LEGO Harry Potter, LEGO Lord of the Rings, and LEGO Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars. And I strongly believe LEGO games should almost exclusively be played with a partner. It works so much better for gameplay, for puzzles, solving elements for the co-op mission based elements rather than just interacting with the AI you know when you go and do something when you're playing single player you go to a certain spot and then the AI just does the other action for you but doing this with an actual partner an actual person just makes it a much more well-rounded fun experience and you get to collaborate and communicate your way through the world now this is why I think it'll be a huge shame if the new Lego Star Wars finally launches with no online co-op the way the world still is at the moment not everyone has the option of playing with the couch buddy. So online co-op would be the only way to experience this game with a friend. My fingers are crossed. They said it wasn't happening. They said they weren't doing online co-op, but like I said, that was a long time ago now. And I know the radio silence from the devs has been making some people nervous. Will the game get another delay? Will it be ready? Is it completely broken? What's going on behind the scenes? If it launches as a complete game, working, fixed, no bugs with a ton of content and online co-op, I'd be so cool if we didn't get to play it for even another year. We've been waiting ages for a game like this and you know it was announced almost two years ago now. I think the wait is definitely going to be worth it. I just really hope they add this as a feature. It's still supposed to be the next game published by Warner Brothers Interactive and as far as we know is still set to release in the first half of this year but <laughs> it's certainly running out of time. There's been no announcements, no updates, no anything. But what do you guys think? Would you want to see online co-op in the new LEGO Star Wars and is is that something you'd be happy to wait for? Let me know in the comments. And for more LEGO Star Wars, watch one of these videos here. And follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and join my Discord for lots more Star Wars gaming, LEGO Star Wars news as soon as I hear about it, and everything else. And thanks for watching this. My name's Andrew. I'll catch you soon. <laughs> Stay bombastic.